Okay, so we have to simplify this expression. We can assume that all variables here are positive numbers as well. So that's a, an implied assumption. Solution. So there's a couple ways to um, show the work for this. The main thing we need to realize is that we're taking square roots, okay? And so when you have the square root of x squared, as long as x is positive, this is going to be equal to x, okay, if x is positive. So in this problem, again, we're assuming everything is positive, so all is good. So an easy way to do this is to write everything as something squared because we have a square root. So we can write this as x squared, y squared, y squared. And then you can basically just take the square root of each piece. So if you wanted to show an additional step, you can write this as the square root of x squared, the square root of y squared, the square root of y squared. And then we know this will just be x, y, y. So because it's a square root, we want to write everything as something squared. If it was a cube root, we would want to write everything as something cubed. So this is going to be x times y squared. And that will be the final answer. Another way that people do it that's often taught in textbooks is people think of it like this. This is really x squared. And then they think of y squared as something squared. And then so this is the square root of x squared, the square root of y squared squared. So that'll just be x, and then the square root gets rid of the 2, so we just get y squared. I personally prefer this method here. It's a little bit more simplistic. It's a little bit more work, but it's less thinking, because you know if you have a square root, you just write everything to the second power. If you have a fifth root, you write everything to the fifth power, etc. I hope this video has been helpful.